Well, the Coalition midterm review is over and the mood really matched the weather outside. It's very overcast, murky, it's January. It's a long way from the May Rose Garden, the glorious sunshine where David Cameron and Nick Clegg launched the Coalition on a tide of optimism given the economic gloom. Well, it's a bit different now and David Cameron in that room seemed to me as though he'd rather be anywhere else than another attempt at re relaunching the Coalition. Let me put it like this. We are married, not to each other. We are both happily married, and you know, this is a government, not a relationship. It's a government about delivering for people because of the mess that we were left in by the previous government, because of the huge challenges that we face. And what we said to people two and a half years ago was that we would come together for a five-year parliament. We would tackle these problems. So to me, it's not a marriage. It is, if you like, it's a Ron Seal deal. It does what it says on the tin. We said we would come together. We said we'd form a government. We said we'd tackle these big problems. We said we'd get on with it in a mature and sensible way. And that is exactly what we've done. In contrast, Nick Clegg seemed much more optimistic. He's a bit of a more, more of a natural communicator. He seemed quite optimistic and hopeful about the future. Of course, rescuing, repairing, reforming the, the British economy is the big task for this, uh, for this government. It's the big challenge of our times. In fact, in my view, in many ways, it's, it's many of the other reforms that this coalition government has initi initiated, long-term reforms, social reforms, public service reforms and other reforms that will, that will outlast and outlive the immediate economic uh, uh, challenges in front of us and will stand the test uh, of time. But really, David Cameron was right. The two are like a married couple living under the same roof but married to somebody else. So they're enduring each other to get through for the national good. Ron Seal deal, you could call it the unvarnished truth. But anyway, um, look, uh, well, I thought it was all right. <laughs> well, there was more policy announcements or some idea of what's going forward on housing, on social care, on pensions and other, and road and infrastructure, other key areas. But really, we knew what was coming. It wasn't a great surprise. It won't dominate the headlines tomorrow. It's more of the same for months and months and months. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Back to work.